All right, let me just get the gimbal going here. Got the umbrella. It's a little bit rainy here in Chicago today. We're between, we're between the rain. Who's gonna guess where we're at today? That's what I would like to know. All right, what's going on? I see Courtney. Uh, you know what? I want to put, I got to take my sunglasses off. I can't see a thing. But I wanted to get this thing going because, hey guys, see a bunch of people coming on board. I've got to change over to my regular glasses because I can't. Looks like it's, I got my umbrella here. All right, just bear with me here. I want to be able to see what you're saying. All right. Here we go. This is much better. What's going on, everybody? Let's see here, lock her up. How's it going? Got over 100 people already. That's pretty cool. Let's go, let's go. All right, what do we got? We got Flosses here, Beth Ann, Sandra, Ben Baker. Got his t-shirt, he loves it. Very cool. Can you guys guess where I'm at? Where am I? Where am I? Come on. Now it'll take a while. Here, I'll give you some scenery here. We're going to start right out with some really cool graves. And I'm going to flip the camera around right there. Okay, this should give you a good idea who, where we're going here. This is going to be a real fast stop. This is the grave of Dexter Graves. He came to Chicago in 1931. 1931, 1831. He was one of the first settlers here. And a guy named Laredo Taft did this sculpture and it's called Eternal, I think Eternal Silence. And if you look in his eyes, you are supposed to see, you are supposed to see your own death. So don't look at the screen, okay? <laughs> don't look at the screen. Do you like that? All right, let's keep it going here. Now, I haven't been watching the screen, but I gotta believe somebody's guessed where I'm at. Anybody? It'll be on the it'll be on the uh, the tape. But did anybody guess where we're at yet? Too late. Already did. Okay. Mount Carmel. No. I'm betting I couldn't look at the screen, so I don't know if you guys. I have to believe somebody just had to have guessed it. Can you tell me? Yes, Carla Graceland, but I don't know if you're the first. Was Carla the first or did someone guess it before? Yes, yes, Graceland. Who is the first though? Can tell, I'll go back and review it. So whoever is first to guess Graceland will get the free t-shirt. Now, by the way, the reason I was so fast, because look at, that was what I, hey Dawn, thanks for the five bucks. That's what I was trying to avoid. They were like all behind me. They were like, get out of my way. Okay, guys, this is probably one of the most unbelievable cemeteries in the country. It has to rank in the top five. And we are gonna see a lot of cool stuff today. Just get ready. 
get ready for some history. Now it has been 30 years since I have been here, so I'm gonna be very rusty. I did do a quick drive around, so I kind of have an idea a little bit of what our walk is gonna look like. Yeah, a little bit of wind today, so the audio is gonna be kinda of crummy, but how you guys all doing? Duran from Wakanda. You know I lived like three miles from you, buddy. We got Seattle in the house. We got Indianapolis. We got Ricky's here. Ricky says, hi, Debbie Butler. What's up, Ricky? How about a shout out for Ricky for watching our back? It's in Illinois. We're in Chicago. We are at Graceland Cemetery. It's been guessed because I there's there's a couple tour groups today. We're going to try to avoid people. It's a Sunday, but this is one of the most. Hey, Ricky, this is one of the most unbelievable cemetery. Your, your mind is going to be blown by the time we're finished with this. I hope the quality of the video stream stays stays good. Watching from England. All right, I got my umbrella here today because we got rain all over the place. Look at this. Look at those bronze doors, guys. Hey, from England, Claire, what's going on? This is L.H. Boldenweck. And isn't that beautiful? I'm not going to go up there because there's nothing... The doors are, there's a big door behind that door. Let's check this one out. Yep, Graceland Cemetery, Chicago. We are literally just a few miles from the, from downtown Chicago. Ooh, look at this. This is spooky, guys. Yeah, it looks like you can't really see in there. There's a big crypt. Ugh, I'm re reaching through all these cobwebs. I don't know if you can see. Oh, man, it smells too. I don't think it smells from bodies. It smells from dead animals, maybe. Graceland Cemetery, guys. This has been so done on YouTube over and over and over. And I've really kind of resisted doing an episode here. It's been done badly. <laughs> it's been done good and bad, but. I'll have to come back and do a 4K of some of the stuff we're going to see. But I'll give you a little history once this train goes by, we're on the east side is the L-Trax. And there goes the, it's one of the noteworthy things about Graceland Cemetery here in Chicago, is the L-Train. Got a little sprinkle here. I might have to pull out the umbrella. Luckily, I came prepared. Yes, Graceland is beautiful. Yep, it's starting to rain. Hold on a second. We're going to have to pull out the umbrella. Let me multitask here. Hold on. Boy, thank God I brought it. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to need to bring it. Uh, hold on. Oh, good. I thought it was broken. All right, there we go. Let it rain. Let it rain. Yes. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, Kelly. You guys have not seen anything yet. You just wait. See what's coming up. We're going to go down this one because I want to find the tomb. Well, actually, it's a tomb marker sculpture. And oh, there's a tour group there. Gosh, we're just going to have to avoid these tour groups. This cemetery is, we're gonna go there anyway. We're gonna make our way there. It's the grave up there where you, I don't know if you can see all those people. 
right up there, that's the grave of Victor Lawson. And there is a, it's, it's a massive, so that first sculpture we saw of eternal silence, that Grim Reaper-ish guy, he, the, Lorenzo Taft did that, he was the sculptor, and the sculptor of this knight up there that we're gonna take a look at is the same sculptor. Now again, that's that, he, uh, Lorenzo Taft went, he lived in Illinois, he went to the University of Illinois, very famous sculptor here, and he, he did a lot of, well, he did two here, two that I know of. He did that eternal silence one that we saw. Morning from Melbourne, Australia. What's going on? Oh man, the wind is picking up. Hold on, I'm almost lost my umbrella there. Oh good, that group is moving off. That's where we wanna go. If it wasn't a rainy day, there'd be like, there's always lots of people here. It's a very popular cemetery. For those of you new coming on board, we're at Graceland, the famous, not the Elvis Presley Graceland, this is the Chicago, Illinois Graceland Cemetery. And I will give you a, a little bit of history on it. It was, I think it was 1860 is when this was established. And it was established by a businessman whose name was Thomas Barber Bryan. This is a rural cemetery design, Victorian style. And it was designed kind of like they, they would come here and picnic. And it is a beautiful cemetery. All the streets here, the little roads wind around, which you see now reminiscent in a lot of cemeteries the older cemeteries. Now, a lot of people here came from, they were relocated, like Rose Hill too, and some of the other cemeteries, the older ones were relocated from Chicago. The Chicago Cemetery, which was in Lincoln Park, right downtown in the olden days. And in 1871, we had the, the Great Chicago Fire, October 8th, 1871. And they, they, they were like, we just got we got to move everybody out. And by the way, there's 10,000 people or more that are still buried. And they're unmarked in the park. So you go jogging in that park, you are hanging out with, whoa, here comes the wind. Hold on, you're gonna have to bear with me here. It's, we got crazy weather going on coming through right now, but I'm still out here. Hey, you know, I was out there in the snow. This is nothing, right? So yeah, they moved a lot of people here. Here is the grave of Victor Lawson. There are no tombstones here. Just this huge sculpture Laredo Taft did. He, at the, at the age of 22 years old, Victor bought the Chicago Daily News. I think that was the newspaper he bought. And he turned it into, he was the first guy to send out like reporters, international reporters, people to go out and get stories outside of their area. Turn it into massive. And you see here, well, there's a lot of money. Look at that, even a dollar bill. Watching from Germany, what's going on? Awesome. No, it's not King Arthur. Well, you know what? It is close because this is a crusader. Do you see the cross? It's polished granite. This thing stands about 15 feet high. And this newspaper man, it, he was, it, it's thought to be that this sculpture is you know, crusader, because he was a crusader for the truth. And it says, above, above all things, truth beareth away the victory. So he was always after the truth, Victor Lawson was. And 
there are no, they're all buried here, but there are no stones. Why, I don't know. But there are no stones. Let us continue. Some amazing sculptures here. Look at that. How's the picture? Hopefully it's still coming in clear. I probably couldn't get a better signal because we're downtown. We're literally, literally a couple miles from downtown Chicago. Very opulent is right. All the who's who of Chicago are here. And this would take kind of like Queen of Heaven. This would take, I don't know how many episodes to do this, this cemetery properly. Look at these. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Now we gotta head, we're gonna head this way. Now there's a pond, a lake up here. The other thing I wanna see is Inez Clark, the statue of the little girl. And I think she's, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to that, maybe at the end on the way out. She's like out, out that way. And a lot of haunting stories about her. Oh, I'm so glad I brought the umbrella. It is starting to come down here. Okay, let's head, which way is the pond? Oh, wait, yeah, oh, darn it. We've gotta go this way. We're right behind this tour group. So what I'm gonna try and do is get ahead of them. And they are all, hang it looks like they're all stopping at the, yeah, we gotta go this way. So we're gonna skip ahead of them. They're all hanging out at the Egyptian, walk like an Egyptian. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna move fast here. They're, they're, yeah, they are at the, the pyramid. And it's unique because it has Egyptian and Christian symbolism in it. It was designed by Richard E. Schmidt for the Schoenhofen family. They're a brewing company. And we'll take a quick look past these people. I'm not gonna say anything, but we'll like intrude a little bit. Okay. All right. I'll just zoom in. guys they are right on top of three good mausoleums I'm not gonna the other one is Pullman see the Pullman that's Pullman you know the train cars all right they hated him they hated him because he would when everybody was having a tough time in the depression, he was like increasing their rent while decreasing their salaries. They hated him. In fact, when they buried him, they buried him under a ton, a ton of concrete and steel because they were so afraid that the grave robbers were going to take him. Now, this is Martin Ryerson, the Martin Ryerson tomb. And I think he was a lumber baron. Yeah. He was, uh, you know, this, this is in the form of Egyptian 
two type of, and Egyptian, Egyptian stuff was really popular back then because of, you know, discovery of King Tut and all the Egyptian discoveries. So a lot of people were doing this Egyptian revival stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, this is Ryerson. He was, I think he was partners with Henry Harrison Getty and they were lumber merchants. So this is designed by Lewis Sullivan, very famous architect. The guy who did the White City, he, he was an urban planner, big architect here, hero of mine. I won't get into it, into it, but this is a combination of pyramid style and Mostaba. Mostaba is, see the sloped um, walls at the bottom? It's kind of um, a revival of the Mostaba. Egyptian design and then of course we have the pyramid on top Okay All right, they're still at the They're still hanging out at the Pullman now we can get ahead of them. This is the best part of the tour path Look at this guys All right, I think we're free and clear What do you think of that? A little bit of Greek revival Look at that there's no, oh, it says Kimball on top. We do have a Kimball Avenue. Let's take a quick look here, if you guys want. Kimball Avenue, I can't remember what Kimball was, a famous name in Chicago. Look at these sarcophagus. This is Eveline Kimball. And this is William Wallace Kimball. I'm going to have to look that up on what the Kimballs did. You guys could Google that right now, maybe. Look at that angel. Aberdeen, Scotland. Angela, very cool. I'm going to try and get out to Scotland in that area. Edinburgh. How do you pronounce it? I know it's not Edinburgh. Edinburgh, right? Okay, still raining here, but I do see some sun to the east. Look at this on the left. He was a piano maker, thank you. That's awesome. This is Goodman. This might be the guy who, the Goodman Theater, I don't know. There's probably other Goodmans. Kimball Piano, okay, thank you. That's great. We have Mausoleum Row. Look at these. Isn't this spooky? Photos, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. This is the Potter Palmer extravaganza, I'll call it. Look at this tomb. And they are buried in these two granite sarcophaguses or sarcophagi. I'm gonna put my umbrella away here pretty soon. Now, my former wife, the mother of my oldest boy, Danny, who's 22, her mom, her mom's parents, Nancy, we call her Little Green Irish, they, they grew up, uh, he was the chauffeur for Potter Palmer. Potter Palmer. So we have Potter Palmer and we have Bertha Honore Palmer. And they are inside these sarcophagi. And we have more family members here. Now, while we're here, now there's a pond here. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this great? So I'm going to put this umbrella away. Hold on. It stopped raining for now. Bear with me. All right. You will, you hear in the background, well, I almost have to put this down. Here we go. I just want to get this umbrella out of the way. All right, there we go. Yeah, isn't this incredible? 
So they, the, the Palmer family was, they were dry goods people. And Potter, Potter Palmer was the guy who, basically his company got so large that Marshall Field bought it and it became Marshall Fields, the first retailers. And Potter Palmer was responsible primarily for the development of State Street here. They were super, super rich. I'm talking mega money. So yeah, that, Nancy's dad was the chauffeur for the family and they lived on a bit, they lived at a huge, huge mansion on up uh, near Lakeshore Drive, not too far. Oh, look at this over here. Look at this. I love it. You got to love the architecture here. It's just unbelievable. Yes, Rose Hill. Very good. I saw that. Yeah, we're at Graceland Cemetery in Chicago, Illinois, right, right downtown. Henry Hamilton Honore, H O N O R E, if you guys want to look it up. Thank you, Michelle, for $3. If I've missed any of you, I've got my hands full with rain, umbrellas. Look at these angel faces. Ooh, wow. Look at that. I love that stuff. Don't you love that? Yeah, if you guys want, I will come back here. I've, I've kind of been avoiding it because it's I've been saying it's been done so much on YouTube to come here and do do an episode, a long episode. There's so much here in unbelievable architecture. If you guys want. Yeah, today it would cost crazy money. Look at this. This has a little bit of Gothic Gothic style. This is kind of my favorite style. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, look at these doors. Look at these doors. You, you have to be here to appreciate this. Margie, five bucks. Thank you. Okay, I appreciate that. Even though it's been done a million times, you guys like to watch it with me. I'll take you along. John Mitchell, 1853 to 1927. So I've got mosquitoes and I got to get out of this part. So listen to this. So I'm, I'm yesterday, I'm at, uh, I go to Bath, Michigan, okay? Bath, Michigan is 10 miles northeast of Lansing, Michigan State, right in the middle of Michigan. And it's an unbelievable story of the massacre of school children and the superintendent and other people died, teachers. The guy blew up the school. So I'm at the cemetery and I'm literally swarmed by mosquitoes. And I had a I had to run to the store, you know. Christy, five dollars, thank you. I had to run to the store and I had to get like the cheapest, crappiest mosquito spray because they didn't have the good stuff so you you know that's mosquito spray deep woods off that if you spray it on and you touch paint the paint will come off it's like paint thinner i had to put that all over myself and it was like 70 but it like it clogs your pores i think because i started sweating it was the worst Anyway, it was, you'll hear like, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put that out next Sunday night as a premiere. Tonight we have Jesse James and you will hear the mosquitoes. It's so funny. When I was doing the editing, you just hear mosquitoes. Thank God I had at least that spray and I could not get that spray off. I showered two times when I got home. That was a five hour drive. One of those epic drives for you guys, but I just do it. I mean, I'd go by myself if I wasn't taking you guys. Look at this, look at this Celtic cross, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. Yeah, it smells, and then I came home and my son's like, oh man, you just really reek of that stuff. I know, I'm running up to the shower. Look at this sarcophagus. Oh, now I'm getting bit here. Look at this thing, you guys. Let me step up here. 
Let's have a look. Look at that. You can see, I can't see. This thing is massive. All right, look these guys up. Higginbotham, looks like. I'm gonna hold it here so you can try and read all that stuff. We have Harlow Niles, 1938 to 1919, and Rachel Davison Higginbotham, 1844 to 1909. I would love to know about, you know, if you guys can find some stuff and we post this video, I'll uh, do some posts on who these, you know, I know some of the famous people, but I don't know. I don't know, I mean, it's just, they're all rich people from Chicago, I can tell you that. This is Crane, look at this. And this is your average mausoleum here, right? Come on, <laughs> all white marble inside, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I fly, or I fly. I, for the mosquitoes, I saw you wrote Skin So Soft. I've got that, you know, that newer stuff, which isn't bad, that it's more organic. It's made by Off. But that, that old spray stuff, oh my gosh. It's absolutely insane. I never knew how bad it was. Hey, Regina's here, what's going on? Wisconsin's in the house. Here's a look at the cemetery wall here. And you have residents, old buildings from the 1800s. It kind of reminds me of Philadelphia. I feel like I'm in Philadelphia when I look at that. So we're walking around the pond in a left-hand pattern. And there over there, right through there, is the island of the very famous Daniel Burnham. I don't know if you heard of him. He is the man. Rob, $9.90. Let's just call it 10 bucks. Thank you very much. Now, look at this. Is this Art Deco or is this Art Deco? I love Art Deco. This is, this is really beautiful. I wonder if we can see inside there. I did bring my flashlight. And Holmes, it says, let's see if you can, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be, I'll give it a quick shot here. Sorry guys. Yeah, it's too much glare, but yeah, stunning. Very stunning. Oh, I saw somebody got Higgins. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and read that. Good job. Yes, Daniel Burnham, the architect. It was he was working with Adler here. Probably the most famous architect. We're gonna go see him right now. Look at this. Here's another a little bit of a Gothic style. Two bucks from Cynthia Torres. Thank you. Wendell R. King is who that one is. Oh, the tour group's coming. Let's get on the island. There's people coming from both directions. They want to beat us to Burnham's Island. All right, here we go. He was president of World's Columbian Exposition. Oh, cool. All right, guys, we're on the island. This is Burnham's Island. And the police are coming for me. You hear that? Here's Daniel Burnham. Man, this guy was big. This guy was big time in Chicago. Daniel Hudson Burnham died in 1912. Boy, they make a lot of racket, don't they? This might have been his son, uh, grandson or his son. Oh my gosh, what is going on? It's right out there. So these are all the Burnhams. All 
We'll take a look at one more. This is John. So Daniel Burnham was, oh my gosh, you can't even talk. I'll tell you after we get off the island. Holy cow. That is so annoying. Isn't that annoying? Oh, gosh. Say hi to 500 people. <laughs> All right, it stopped. All right, I will tell you about Daniel Burnham, just a little bit of what I know, and there's just too much to tell. So he was an architect, he was an urban planner, and he was responsible for a lot of the design of, well, especially Lakeshore Drive, which it's kind of unusual, but instead of all the expensive houses like Lake Forest and up north, where they just, you know, take it for the rich people, they, Daniel Burnham laid out the whole lakeshore from very far north all the way to the south side for the people. And it's really was a fantastic thing. It's parks. So if you come to Chicago, come to Lakeshore Drive, you can have access to that and enjoy the beauty instead of just for the rich people. And he was the guy who, they said, oh, you can't do the Chicago Fair. Chicago Fair, what are you talking about? You're too, you're Chicago, not sophisticated. He said, make no small plans. He said, we're gonna do it. So, devil in the white city, the white city, that's, what was it, 1860, uh, 1890, I can't remember the date, but it was the white city fair, probably one of the most famous Fairs in, you know, fairs in the world. Check this out, guys. This is the Getty Mausoleum. This is not J. Paul Getty, which is out in California. This was also designed by Daniel Burnham. Getty was the partner of that, uh, the Ryerson guy that we saw. The, remember the, the kind of the pyramid style? Not the pyramid, the one the other one and yeah this this is look at those look at the bronze doors look at the detailing isn't this just amazing very simple it's almost a prairie style now this was a big not prairie style it was like um you see the arch here that was very, the graduated arch, this was kind of Burnham's, one of his signatures. He loved doing that. And if you see that in a lot of his, a lot of his architecture. Let's take a look here. This was actually designed by, or designed for the wife of Henry Harrison Getty. She had died before him. And these two guys both were lumber merchants. They were lumber barons. Look at this window, look at that arch, isn't that beautiful? Would love to see inside there. Let's see if there's, what's going on back here. No, there's nothing. So they were lumber barons. And uh, boy, this sure has stood the test of time. Look at the detailing of those star formations in the octagon. And uh, I, I, I love that arch, just the design of this, just, just incredible. I'm gonna give you a close up of this bronze door. And then beyond, look at that. Isn't that incredible? Look at that. Look at that handle. Sorry, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes here. Look at that. Big, solid door with a, with a big arch. Look at that detailing. That is, that's art, guys. That is just some amazing stuff. I see uh, somebody sent $20.
and I can't see the name, but thank you very much. I must have missed that. Let's continue on this way. I'm gonna walk fast now because what I wanna do before we leave, and I'm, I'm not guaranteeing anything, it's a bit of a walk, is Inez Clark, the girl. And I do have some, did some research on her years ago. It's kind of one of those things we debunk. Fisher, look at that. That is beautiful. A tad humid? Oh, that's an understatement. It is always humid here. I'm going to look forward to when I get to Arizona. Let me tell you, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Yeah, this is Fisher. I don't see any names here, unfortunately. I know Mies van der Rohe was buried here. He's got a simple granite tomb. One of our big architects in Chicago was killed a couple of months ago, I think it was. I Actually, I was there in St. Charles. He was on his bike. Helmut Jan was on his bike. He was killed literally two hours before I was doing a live that live I did in uh, St. Charles. Gosh, there's so much to look at here. And I got to keep this on the move so that we can get to, maybe we can sneak N.S. Clark in. Look at that. Laverne Noyes, 1849 to 1919. David Suchitz, who's that? Oh, the rain's coming back. Look at that, see the rain out there? Time for the umbrella again. Oh well, hold on. Multitask, all right. That's fine, no problem. Actually, the wind died down. Cheryl's with us. Thank you, Cheryl. If you want to keep going, I can keep going. So those are kind of some of the famous, the famous graves. Now let's just kind of wander. Let's kind of wander this direction. Because I know Inez, Inez is out here. So what's going on, guys? Yeah. The sound of the rain. Okay, we'll keep going. Look at this tomb up here. Wouldn't it be, I mean, it's morbid, but I, I would love to see the caskets or the coffins. I'm sure they're super elaborate. Look at this, John M. Kranz. What did he do? Wow, have you ever seen anything like this? This is just one of the Graceland Cemetery tombs. <laughs> Let's get a quick close-up <coughs> of his 19, 1841 and 1919, and his wife, Florentine Kranz, died in 1915. If we get a, uh, I don't know if Deb is watching, our ancestry friend, but she's helped us out a lot. Shout out to Deb. She's getting me a lot of pictures of, oh, great news, guys. Listen to this, great news. I forgot to tell you. All right, remember Joseph Reinholtz? Remember they stole a statue? He's the one that would see the apparitions of the Virgin Mary at Queen of Heaven Cemetery. Remember that episode? All right. I think, I can't remember her name now. Um, She's from there. She's one of the people in the office. She watches the channel. Was it Emily? I'm sorry. <coughs> I can't remember her name, but she is going to help us. She is like going to help us get a hold of the family. And 
check to see if they did get a letter off when they were supposed to, just to start with. And I really want us to be able to get that statue for him, the one that was stolen, bronze. Now we'll, we'll do granite. We're not gonna do bronze if we get it, which may be more expensive, but that's all right. I'll pay the difference. Look at this. Wow, this is, this is really old. You can see in there. <laughs> There's a bunch of mausoleums here that are built into the, into the hill. We've seen this at Forest Home Cemetery. But anyway, I was excited to tell you guys that because you know, these things take time, but we're saving the money up. And we've got some decent money aggregating in our gravestone account for these people that have not in. Oh, it's starting to come down, guys. Thank God I brought this umbrella. <laughs> I was like, I don't need it. I'll just get a little wet, sure enough. Horace White. 1834 to 1916. Gosh, I cannot help but divert to look at some of these. These are just incredible. How's the picture, you guys? When it rains, it pours. It's Morton Salt. You know, I went to see the Morton family. They're at the Arboretum, uh, the Morton Arboretum down in Lyle. Look at that. That's all like melted away. And they have it fenced off and you can't go in. And there's only like, there really wasn't much to see. There wasn't much to see, but that rain, it, when it rains, it pours. Okay, good. The picture's key because there's so much amazing stuff here. And like I said, I'm only able to, look at that door rusting away. Wow. So much history, you go to these cemeteries. And it's always like an adventure. Ooh, let's go that way. I think we're getting close to Inez. I'm looking, I'm looking. I got a scan for Inez Clark. I know you guys want to see her. The rain is increasing. I know she's around this way somewhere. Like I said, it's been 30 years since I've been here to Ro uh, Graceland. Graceland's not Rosen. Rose Hill. I was at Rose Hill a couple of weeks ago. Guess what? Our one year anniversary is coming up since we started the channel. The family is growing. July 15th, I've got a special episode at Rose Hill commemorating a one year anniversary. Last July 15th is when I started this channel on a little bit of a whim. Holy cow, look at that mausoleum. And I wonder if that's for one family. Do you see that over there? We'll have to take a quick look. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see Anna's. So yeah, it's one, thank you. Yeah, it's one year anniversary. I can't believe it. It's flown by. Some really interesting graves. No famous people, but some cool history and some cool graves. Look at some of those over there. Man, this rain won't stop. But it's okay, we got the umbrella. It's called REITS, R-E-R-I-E-T-Z, R-I-E-T-Z. And I uh, can't explain it, this thing's, I don't know if you can see in here. This thing is massive. Doesn't look like there's anything to see. I think there's a door behind this door. Hey, we're on an adventure, man. Always an adventure. All right, we're gonna walk this way. I think I gotta get my bearings. We're like on the north side of the cemetery now. We're gonna make our way back towards the, oh, I see her. Inez, you guys, you're in for a treat. I mean, it's a cemetery, it's not a treat, but you know what I mean. I live in Phoenix. Hey, my, my son is in Phoenix with his wife. They just bought a house last year, just in time. We are looking for a house right now. 
in Phoenix, and it is a seller's market, let me tell you. Can't wait to get there for the winters. I've about had it with Chicago. I love Chicago. Here they come again, guys. The men in the white, the white suits with their straight jackets. Their where's Ron? We're gonna have to start running pretty soon. They're getting closer. No, we're gonna hide behind these mausoleums. They can't see us. Look at this. Gross. What will happen to these in the next thousand years? Will these be here? Will they just be lumps of stone? Will everything, everything will cave in at some point or will people, I think, I think people will, descendants and, not descendants of the people, but I think in general people love history and will preserve them. Boy, oh boy, lots of action. That's one thing I don't miss about living in Chicago or any big city is the sirens. And I remember it was also the, I love Harleys. I used to ride a motorcycle, but man, at two in the morning when they got to like throttle up. Look at this. Look at that guys. That's limestone or sandstone. And that is totally melting away. Joseph Maury Daggett, April 2nd, 1873, 1916, he died. I wonder who he was. Let me tell you, he had money. He had money. Uh-oh, where's Inez? Oh, there she is. I thought she was hiding on us. Wait, she spun around. How did that happen? I think it was my head. My head spun around. Okay. Here's the famous, one of the most famous. Now there's one like this in Lulu Fellows at Rose Hill, but a much different story that I'm gonna tell you. You'll probably be disappointed, but they say that when there's a lightning storm, she comes out of the box. Oh, this she's in remarkably good shape. Look at that. Now it's too bad we got the raindrops on me. There we go. And maybe you can see better. Isn't that beautiful? Now the same sculptor did did this of Inez. And I love that name by the way. Inez or Inez. There's an older woman that was running the cemetery there. Ohio Grove, when I did the Marilla, her name was Inez, and I was just fascinated with that name. I believe these are her parents, John and Mary. Oh, Mosquito Central. I got no bug spray on, hold on. We're in the shade here. There is an inscription, MC Clark. Now here's, it's, I think it's daughter of yeah, so here's the deal. Here's, here's, from what I understand, she's not buried here. And I can't say for sure, I don't know, but the sculptor, this was supposedly, or the word has it that this was kind of a marketing piece, all these rich people coming here and sculptures that he just came out, he made this sculpture similar to Lulu Fellows over at Rose Hill and he came out and he just arbitrarily planted this here. Now, I can't believe the cemetery, like the people that own the cemetery, especially this cemetery, as regulated as it was even back in those days, would allow that. But it is such a beautiful, it is such a beautiful sculpture. But the idea was, hey, if you want one of these, call me. I forget the guy's name. In fact, his name is, he usually has it inscribed. Oh yeah, there it is. Gaggle. Yeah, hold on. Let me wipe. Let me wipe the uh, rain away. Okay, you see back there. Gaggle, 1881. Yeah, that's a different name. That's not the name of Lulu Fellows, I don't think. It's going by memory. Well, we'll look it up. But that is the tale 
there was a night watchman here. I'm not sure a long time ago, but he like quit his job because she like came out of the box during a storm he witnessed. So don't mess with Inez or Inez. All right. Let's go this way. You want to keep going a little bit more? Let me see here. Let's go this way. How much time here? Coming up on an hour. Do you want me to quit? I saw the word quit. Are you guys had enough? Let me know. Yeah, I don't know where she would be buried, but you can try to figure it out. But I know a lot of people have tried. Look at that, Isn't that a beautiful statue. Do not quit, okay. I'm gonna go a little longer. I'm not gonna keep going much more than an hour. But I think we, what's cool is we did get a lot in. We did get a lot of the famous, and there's much more. Let me tell you, there's much more. And there goes the train. Let's look at this thing up here. How do you spell the little girl's name? It's I-N-E-Z Clark. I think it's Clark with an E at the end. Can't remember. By the way, when you see, when you see that, uh, well, you see the cloak, you see that? And more so with the urns, that's reminiscent of a Roman, oh, here, here we go. We got a good example right over here. Roman cremation. So here's a good example I'll show you. Look at the size of this one. Lisa, thanks for $10. Very cool. This is Amelia Vernon Rumsey, R-U-M-S-E-Y. She died in 1877. There's all kinds of names on here. So this is primarily for a woman. Wife of Samuel H. Wheeler. Okay. What attracted me to come over here was this thing. Whatever that is. I think there's, a, there's bodies in there for sure. Very old. But this is what I was talking about. When you see the, and by the way, when you see the veil, it's kind of, in general, veil to the other world. It's kind of the, the, the transition from here, from here to there. Sorry with the camera, I've got mosquitoes all over me that I'm, but I'm keeping them at bay. Mary McMahon, wife of N.D. Clapp. Died May 13th, 1866, age 33. Her dying words, I wish Jesus take me up, I think, I'm not sure. I wish Jesus would, yeah, I can't read that middle word, but you guys would be able to. But look at this thing, how cool is this? Oh, there are some inscriptions on here, but Good luck. So it looks like this is in two pieces. There are, there's, there's a crack here, there's a separation there, and then of course on the bottom. $10 from Andrea, thank you. Andrea Williams, very cool. We have the Little Feller grave too that we're going to, we've already bought, we're waiting for it to come in. Hopefully this fall, I can't wait to go out to Bohemia National to see that. With his picture, we that's the first oval picture I've ever bought. Well, how many gravestones have I bought? Like one or two, bef two uh, for Aliska's parents, which was my first video. If you go see my first video, you can see the, the little girl, four-year-old, who was murdered in 1911. That was the first tombstone we bought. It took like six months. All right, the rain is stuck going away, but oh, hold on. The mosquitoes are after me. Oh, once you get in these trees. 
what do we got up here? Now we're getting to the poor section, guys. This is the poor people. See these obelisks? Sorry, you're only a millionaire, not a multimillionaire. Sorry. Oh, this is sad, look at that. This is what's gonna eventually happen to all of them, guys. It's gonna be the... Yeah, some people owe blood. They, some people, they really don't like their blood. Let's take a closer look. Here they come, I hear the sirens coming again. This is the third time, maybe the fourth. They still haven't found me. No way. Eldridge C. Hall, 1815 to 1877. And by the way, if you guys want to go on, find a grave or ancestors, oh, look at this. It'd be cool if you can find out who these, some of these people were. I mean, these are kind of the famous, but not famous today. There's that urn again I was talking about. There's four of them here, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Kimbark, wife of Eldridge Hall, 1821 to 19, 18, I keep wanting to say 19, February 7th, AD, 1866. Now these are really interesting here. Aren't these beautiful? Look at that. Cannot read it. E.G. Hall, that's about all you can read on there. Isn't this cemetery crazy? Isn't this, let's see, what else? Oh, look at that up there. That is, that is beautiful. Yes, keeping safe. There's a lot of nice people here. Even though we're in the city, you got to be a little more careful. This, this place is, uh, this is safe. There's a lot of nice people here. Uh, premiere pre-recorded for today. Yes. <laughs> and Ron's headed for the mental hospital. Thanks, Ricky. Yeah, so again, for those of you who came on a little bit later, uh, at 8 o'clock tonight, Central Time, we are going down to, and it is pre-recorded, we are going to go to the James Farm down in Missouri. Then we're going to go to the graveyard of Jesse James. And by the way, by the way, guys, the um, what's really cool about this thing tonight is that, sorry, what's really cool about my favorite part is that in the museum, I found a place where they had, see, he was exhumed, I think a couple of times, he was exhumed from the farm. And we'll go see the grave at the farm where the grave was. And you know, she would sell stones for quarters and tours and all that. And then they put him in the cemetery in 1995. And I think when they put him in the cemetery from the family farm, they took the casket and it wasn't a coffin, it was a casket and it was metal and it was the top. And it's really interesting and intricate. And they took it and they, it's in the museum, it's all dirty. Really cool. I got some good imaging on it. I had my cell phone. It's not going to be the 4K wonder, but it's pretty good. Brought the drone in over the farm. And then we see the farmhouse. This isn't where he was killed. This is where he was growing up. He was almost killed. His mom lost her arm to a Pinkerton detective raid. Blew, I killed his half brother. Grenade went in the fireplace. They kicked it in the fireplace, blew up. Anyway, it was just a botched capture of the James gang Frank and Jesse got away but we'll talk about that tonight it's and if you can't join us then of course it'll always be there you can watch it anytime look at this right here this is interesting wow the money this stuff must have cost so they did determine whether Jesse James or not so we'll talk about that and you know, Billy the Kid and the Romanoffs, Anastasia, it's always people that are trying to, oh, I'm, it's me, I survived. All these cranks, almost always. Thank God for DNA, because then they can just disprove that stuff. There we are. 
pretty cool. All right, guys, it's how much time? We're over an hour, which is fine, but I'm gonna roll. I got uh, some stuff I gotta do. Here's the deal, next Sunday, I am not gonna be able to do a live. And then we'll pick it up again the Sunday after, okay? Next Sunday, I got, I got stuff I gotta do. The Sunday after, we will pick it up again. So from Graceland Cemetery here in Chicago, thanks for hanging out with me. It was a great time. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope the picture stayed good. And I'll see you guys, uh, I'll be on tonight. So I'll see some of you guys, whoever can hang out tonight on the Jesse James farm. I'll see you there, okay? All right, gang, catch you later.